We've been training for a long time and are always watched by a pro coach. So please don't try any of the moves you see us do. Now enjoy the show. Previously. Look, I am not the voice. And I think I found a way I can prove it. Let's run it through the algorithm and see. I spent Who is it? Um, through this plan. And all my work is about Miss Martell? I can't believe Miss Martell was the voice all along. None of us had any clue. It makes sense. She never wanted any of us involved in the bulletin in the first place, remember? Sorry we blamed you, Nick. The video was pretty convincing. It's fine. Now we can stop her. I can't wait to tell Miss Martell the jig is up. Did you guys just get a message from Miss Martell? Yipperoni. I'm off on urgent business, but I sent out the scripts. Please follow them exactly. No improv. I'm trusting you guys. Nick, you're in charge. She's still messing with you, Zolta. Make me proud. Aw. Not aw. She's the voice, remember? Right. Sorry. Urgent business? Obviously a made-up excuse. She's running away. She must know that we're on to her. Then let's expose her, bulletin style. Wait, wait, do you remember what happened last time we rushed to report breaking news? We almost ruined BTA's reputation? We were wrong about the bug and about Nick, so we need to be sure about this before we go public. Fine. We'll make an addition she'll have to pay attention to without risking BTA's reputation. Great, because I'm definitely not doing that. Consider this edition of the Bulletin off script. Yes, you are. Hi, everyone. Today's a very special Secrets with Scarlet because we're not talking about secrets at all. We're talking about lies. And what do we do with lies? We wash them away to see the truth because lies are gross and sticky and they ruin your nice shiny coat and we don't want that, do we, girl? When you lie, you deceive people. And if you're not careful, you could really end up hurting the people around you you end up digging yourself into a giant muddy hole that you can't escape from and have to go on urgent business. In conclusion, don't lie. It's bad. Come on, Scar. Good girl. Pretend that didn't happen. Come on. Good girl. Howdy. Today, I thought I'd talk about circus masks. Because in the circus, sometimes we use masks to play a character. Some people might think putting on a mask hides who you really are. They'll use a mask to try and disguise the truth, to be fake. But in the circus, we actually use masks to amplify our feelings, express ourselves physically, and reveal who we really are. Because being real is so much better than being fake. And while a mask can hide how you look on the outside, but all the masks in the world can't hide what's in your soul. Hello, and 
welcome to another edition of What Bugs Me Right Now. What bugs me right now is two-faced people. Like when someone says they're doing one thing, but they're really doing another. That's two-faced. When someone is supposed to be on your side, but they're really working against you. That's two-faced. It's like pretending to be a caring, kooky person on the outside, but on the inside, it's just a poor reflection of the person you thought you knew. Like an imposter or an evil twin. An evil twin? Wait a minute. What's up? I have to tell you something. Okay, but first, I wrote a sick diss track to call out Miss Martell for messing with us. Wanna hear it? No. Nick, what's with all these weird bulletin videos? I left you specific instructions. I don't care about your instructions, Miss Martell. You're the voice. I don't understand. What's the voice? The person who's been messing with us this whole time, it's you. Nick! You gave us the map, you made the school vanish, and you tried to frame me for all of it! Nick! Whoa, 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 those are some very serious accusations. They're all true, but we finally outsmarted you. Celeste decoded your voice, and we have proof. Think of your own evil scheme. Have a nice day. Or don't. Voice print confirmed. Martel M. Zolta! What? That's not me. Of course it is. Actually, that's what I've been trying to tell you. It's not Miss Martel. It's Mimi. Miss Martel's twin sister? Evil twin sister. She impersonated Miss Martel, shrank my dad, stole the marble, remember? Mimi. Of course. I mean, it's so obvious. I'm sorry, Miss Martell. I, I didn't mean Actually, to. Actually, it's not Mimi either. Okay, uh, now I'm confused. If someone's been causing chaos over the break, it's probably my other sister, Misty Martell. When I was born, I was one of three triplets. Mimi, Maddie, and Misty. Mimi and I were just like our parents. We loved the circus. But Misty, she was different. She hated the circus. So, while Mimi and I were performing incredible feats, Misty became obsessed with studying our family's history. She discovered that the Martells had been royalty. We even had a castle. Our great, great, great grandmother, Lady Chrysanthemum, lorded over Chateau Martel. She too hated singing, dancing, and fun. But she was driven out by a troop of jesters. Those jesters took over the castle. They eventually formed a circus school, which was the world's first, a school that would become Big Top Academy. So when Mimi and I came to BTA, Misty left to restore forgotten old castles all around the world. We thought she'd found her passion, but it turns out she was just waiting for her chance to reclaim our family's legacy. Miss Marteau, you have another sister? How did we never hear about her? It just never came up. So what do we do now? We figure out how to stop her. And fast. You got me. You figured it out. <laughs> I can't believe it took you this long. Luckily, you're far too late to stop me. Misty, you don't have to do this. Oh, yes, I do. I'm claiming back what's rightfully ours. Well, mine. Chateau Martel is a school now. 
our school. And my finest achievement will be erasing that school and restoring our family's glory, just like Lady Chrysanthemum would have wanted. You'll never get away with this. <laughs> Silly child. I already have. Because while you were falling for all of my tricks, I moved into Big Top Academy. And none of you are ever getting in here again.